2025 Hyundai Sonata AWD, a new era of all-weather performance in mid-size sedans. Think you need an SUV for all-wheel drive? Think again. Many mid-size sedans now offer AWD, including models like the Kia K5, Toyota Camry, Nissan Altima, and Subaru Legacy, which provide reliable four-wheel traction without forcing you into a crossover. Pros. Better traction, smooth ride and handling, effective driver assistance systems. Cons. Sporty appearance, but lacks performance. Noisy engine at higher speeds. Steering wheel feels cheap. Now, Hyundai has joined this group with the Sonata, offering an AWD option for $1,500 on the entry-level SEL trim, which starts at $28,650. We tested the 2024 Sonata SEL AWD to see how it measures up against both its two-wheel drive versions and competitors in the same segment. What's new for the 2024 Sonata? Originally launched in 2020, the Sonata has received significant updates for 2024. The most noticeable change is its bold exterior design, featuring a striking LED strip above the sharp grille and a full-width taillight bar in the rear. While the front has a cool, aggressive look, the numerous lines on the front fascia don't seem to perfectly harmonize with the smooth curves from the previous design. Inside, the cabin feels much more modern. The gauge cluster and infotainment screen are now integrated into a single unit, and the climate controls have more touch-sensitive buttons. The center console has been redesigned for better functionality, including moving USB ports closer and replacing the old push-button gear selector with a twist knob on the steering column, similar to what you'd find in the Hyundai Kona and Ioniq 6. The steering wheel also has a sleeker, three-spoke design. For more on how AWD sedans compare to SUVs or crossovers, you might want to explore studies on vehicle dynamics and handling in all-wheel drive systems. Reading further into automotive design trends could also give more insight into how the Sonata's new look fits into broader industry shifts. The turbocharged 1.6-liter inline-four engine has been discontinued in the Sonata lineup. Now, the turbocharger is exclusive to the high-end Sonata N-Line, which features a 2.5-liter inline-four engine that powers the front wheels through an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The Sonata hybrid powertrains remain unchanged. Most 2024 Sonatas will be SEL models, equipped with a naturally aspirated 2.5-liter inline-four engine generating 191 horsepower and 181 LEFD of torque. This engine is the same as before and is paired with an 8-speed conventional automatic transmission. However, the addition of Hyundai's HTRAC all-wheel drive, AWD, system for this engine prompted us to explore how it affects the driving experience of the Sonata. Sonata AWD Performance The performance of the Sonata AWD is typical for a mid-size sedan. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.9 seconds, completing the quarter mile in 16.0 seconds at a speed of 87.2 miles per hour. While some competitors may be slightly quicker, others are a bit slower. Within its own lineup, the Sonata AWD falls behind the more powerful inline model but finishes ahead of the efficiency-focused hybrid. When it comes to braking, the Sonata AWD can stop from 60 miles per hour in 118 feet, which is a respectable distance for this segment. Interestingly, the 2024 Sonata N-Line required 127 feet to stop in the same test, while the Sonata Hybrid managed to halt in just 117 feet, utilizing its friction brakes and regenerative motor for a slight edge in acceleration. While adding AWD can enhance cornering grip, this doesn't seem to apply to the Sonata. The AWD model achieved an average skid pad grip of 0.82G, matching that of the hybrid and falling short of the end line, both of which are front wheel drive. Overall, these figures are unremarkable for the segment, with the Sonata AWD recording a figure eight time of 27.7 seconds at an average of 61 centimos. Sonata AWD on the road. Perhaps the most problematic thing with these test results is how they prove the Sonata AWD comes nowhere close to backing up its sporty new style. But they're all reasonable and sufficient if your aim is just getting where you need to go. 
And even if the Sonata AWD doesn't drive as exciting as it looks, it still drives nicely. Let's discuss the AWD. Our evaluations occurred in the late days of Southern California summer, so the only thing remotely resembling wet weather was occasional overspray from neighbor's sprinklers. Nevertheless, the gauge cluster's AWD information screen let us watch the system in action. It showed how the powertrain biases the front wheels, sending a little power rearward under moderate acceleration. Step on it, and the split becomes more equal as the rear wheels take on more load to balance how the car moves away from the stop or out of a corner. There's a clear sense that the rear wheels push as the front wheels pull. Hyundai's aim of making this AWD system a benefit for drivers in rainy and cold locales is indicated by the snow mode exclusive to this Sonata model. According to the automaker, snow mode adjusts the wheel slip control, accelerator pedal response, and shift points based on available traction. The system's engagement approach is different from that in the 2025 Toyota Camry AWD, which uses a small electric motor on the rear axle to assist with takeoff. It's also unlike the Subaru Legacy, which has a permanent AWD system that continuously shares engine output between all four wheels. The 2.5-liter engine gets the job done, nothing more. A little more power would help the four-pot feel less wheezy when driving up an incline or making a pass at highway speeds. Keep the revs low, and it's fairly innocuous, but maneuvers where it needs to work hard cause a racket in the cabin. At least it's responsive, unlike some turbocharged engines that keep you waiting a beat. The transmission is prone to shifting abruptly, but it would be unfair to call it rough. Compared to the Sonata FWD, the AWD model's city fuel economy of 25 miles per gallon is identical, but highway economy of 34 miles per gallon marks a 2 miles per gallon reduction. The brake pedal feels nice, soft and easy at the top of its stroke before gradually building to a sensation of firm pad-on rotor bite further down. It's easy to work with and versatile in how it mixes smooth comfort and confident stopping power. There's a taut feeling to the ride quality, where impacts arrive perceptibly, not like it glides over potholes and whatnot, but nothing feels harsh. The suspension responds and settles quickly. It's a good, comfortable balance of road feel and body control. The tall sidewall tires wrapped around this SEL trim 17-inch wheels help cushion against chatter. Should you find yourself on a back road, the direct action of the steering combines with the poised chassis and progressive brake pedal to provide a cohesive handling feel. That's advanced by the AWD system's ability to distribute power to suit the situation. Although the cabin's capacitive buttons require more focus and futzing than is ideal, its infotainment operating system is improved. The CCNC software rolling out across Hyundai's models is quicker, more logical in operation, and better looking than the previous tech. Comfort is enhanced by the plush, supportive front seats. Space is ample in every seat. Good if price-appropriate materials are applied throughout. The SEL trim's unvarnished polyurethane steering wheel is about the only thing that feels cheap. Hyundai's driver assist features remain reliable and reassuring, adding relaxation to highway driving. The adaptive cruise control functions admirably, and although the lane keep assist allows the car to drift toward the lines, it doesn't let it cross them. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.